Hello makers and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to share with you the top 5 zero waste sustainable habits that I have adopted into my life. And uh, make sure to stick until the end because I would really love to hear from you which one of these habits you have also adopted in your life or if you have any other ones that you'd like to share. This video is kindly sponsored by Rebo, a smart water bottle that cleans the water as you drink. So this takes me to the first zero waste habit I have adopted for quite a while now, drinking tap water and using a reusable bottle. Can you guess how many plastic bottles can you save with just a simple swap, like this one? Here is how I use Rebo bottle. First I filter some tap water using this charcoal filter. This helps remove any chlorine from the hard tap water that we have in London. And I keep it in the fridge until really cold and purified. Then I transfer the water into my Rebrew bottle. Do you actually know how much water you drink every day? I had no clue until I started using my Rebo reusable bottle. The Rebo Smart Bottle actually tracks how much water you're drinking every day, which is actually super important as it's so easy to get distracted during the day and then end up not drinking enough. Oh, and it will also send you a reminder when it's time to have a sip. But the best thing about Rebo is that for every 600 millimeters or 16 ounces you drink from a Rebo bottle, they fund the collection of one plastic bottle polluting the environment. Rebo is connected to the Rebo app, which creates a custom hydration plan based on your daily activity, tracks your liquid intake and calculates the number of plastic bottles you save. This record is then transformed into credits which fund plastic pollution cleanups through an association called Partly for the Ocean. If you want to learn more about Rebo, I've linked their website with all of the information down below. The second sustainable habit is something that you might be well familiar with, especially if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, and if you haven't yet, make sure you do. And, and that is hand making pretty much all of my skincare and bathroom products using just a few key ingredients. The practice of making all of my skincare and bathroom products not only allows me to be in complete control of what I consume and want to put on my skin, but it actually helps me save so much disposable plastic that I would otherwise keep introducing into my life on a daily basis. And tell me, if you also make your products, do you find this helps you reduce your plastic waste too? Making my own bathroom and skincare products has also allowed me to adopt a more minimalistic lifestyle. I now really don't need as many products, but rather just a few key ones, made using pretty much the same ingredients. My all-time favorite products to make are solid products such as soap bars, shampoo bars and conditioner bars, but at times I also enjoy making liquid products such as this facial wash and handmade lotion. I have lots of recipes on my channel you can try, and if you want to learn the specific method I use to make all of my products, called the simple making method, as well as becoming part of a community of like-minded makers, make sure to check out the Make Your Own Academy, which is a 12 months program where you learn how to make all of the essential bath and beauty products you need. The next sustainable habit I have adopted into my lifestyle is using eco-friendly cleaning products. And what I mean by that is not only choosing products that actually have a good ingredients list, but also cutting down on the amount of products I use. So we are brought to believe that we need a separate product for every single tour, one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen sink, one for the shower and so on. Instead I have found two products I'm really enjoying and they do pretty much all of the cleaning needed around the house. One is a multi-purpose cleaner by brand called Spruce. It smells so good and it only contains natural or naturally derived ingredients. The best is that I know exactly what's in it, which is really usually not the case with mainstream cleaning products. I use it to clean literally every surface in my home and I've linked it down below if you want to check it out. The second product I love to use is a vinegar cleaner spray, which is actually really easy to make. You can use it to clean glass or stainless steel surfaces, but I mostly use it whenever I have a particular dirty dish load. Just a few sprays of this vinegar solution will actually make the dishes sparkling clean. To prepare it, all you need to do is save the peel of some citrus fruit like orange or lemons and let them infuse in vinegar for a few weeks. 
The vinegar will take the scent of the citrus so it won't really smell as strong anymore and it will actually be pretty pleasant. I usually create the cleanser with half part infused vinegar and half part water. My fourth zero waste sustainable habit is all about food. So much food goes to waste and as much as it's important to try to shop for groceries plastic free, we all know that this is not always possible. My sustainable habit is to shop for groceries mindfully. And what I mean by that is that a lot of the food that ends up going to waste is food that you actually couldn't finish on time, perhaps it expired and you are forced to throw away. And I found out that I had this problem for a while and the reason was that I was just overbuying food. I wasn't really paying attention to how much food we needed uh, for that week. So once I started to actually implement a more grocery shopping um, routine and paying really attention to what I wanted to buy, um, I was able to cut down on my food waste very, very much. I like to plan my meal ahead whenever possible by looking online for inspiration on what I could have for that week and then carefully select what I need uh, when I'm buying groceries. If there is anything I cook and then I cannot finish to eat, I also always make sure I finish to eat it up the day after. I store any leftovers using beeswax wraps, silicone lids or a simple plate. The last zero waste sustainable habit that I want to share with you is something that I think might be just a little bit underestimated and not really talked about, but it really, really made a huge difference for me in how I you know, attempt to live as sustainably as possible. And that is to keep your space tidy and own less stuff. We all know that when we own less stuff, it is also easier to keep our space tidy. And once your space is tidy and clutter-free, it'll be easier to actually find the things that you need and actually use them. At the same time, it will be pretty, pretty um, easy to see what is just sitting there, collecting dust and not really serving a purpose in your life. And if that happens, that object might serve someone else better so it can be given away, gifted or sold. Now I also want to add that I'm no shape or form the perfect minimalist and I also struggle to keep my space tidy but it is definitely a practice worth trying to adopt into your life. It takes dedication and patience and it's a skill to acquire but once you start to get it it, it will really really make like a massive difference. As some of you may know, I'm due to have a baby very soon, so in proper nesting mode I've started tidying up and decluttering the whole house, gifting and selling lots of things. When you can actually see what you own, it is so much easier to appreciate every single item and actually use it. Some resources I found particularly useful were Minimalism, a documentary about the important things on Netflix, and The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. And whenever you do find you need to buy something, buy secondhand. There is an entire world out there of secondhand items, whether it is a fashion item, a good treat, or a piece of furniture. We've actually just built the entire nursery for our baby secondhand. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and make sure to let me know in the comments down below which of these zero waste sustainable habits have you also adopted into your life and if you have any other habits that were mentioned make sure to let me know down below so we can have a conversation and I can't wait to read you down below and until next time I wish you a beautiful rest of your day.